Okay, hi, this is Indira Bandari, and uh, my session today is uh, take your Power BI reports to uh, next level. I'll be showing you a couple of ways uh, as to how to take your Power BI reports to the next level. Before that, a little bit about me. Um, I have been in the data space since 2002, working on uh, SQL Server um, and CRM systems. And uh, also in uh, from 2015 onwards, I've been working as a, a BI specialist and um, uh, Microsoft stack using SSIS, SSAS and SSRS. And from 2015 onwards, I have uh, started speaking at um, various meetups and events and uh, uh, have been teaching kids about technology uh, and started off with game development in 2016 for uh, nine to 12 year old kids and uh, ended up uh, teaching um, uh, SQL and Power BI for the last four years for uh, 10 to 15 year old kids. Um, and for my day job, I uh, work as a senior data consultant in Datacom. And uh, to the end of 2000, 20, I started a charitable trust for kids called Kids Tech Charitable Trust uh, just to teach all about technology with kids. And if you want to contact me, uh, my contact details are here, my email, and I have a Twitter account, Indira Bandari, and uh, my LinkedIn is Indira hyphen Bandari. And going on to what I'm going to cover today, I'm going to cover two ways to uh, how to take your Power BI reports to the next level, how to use small multiples, and also how you can uh, use images in in a chart in, on the axis. So let's get on. It will be only demos. So I'm just going into my PowerPoint here. Sorry, Power BI here. So here I have a graph which is um, just discussing this, okay, which is um, revenue by year. So this shows the revenue, that the revenue is increasing. But what I want to do is I want to understand whether this is this, this pattern is similar for the different manufacturers. I have this data here from, uh, from somewhere, so, uh, I will, what I want to do is I want to understand whether the pattern is increasing for each of the manufacturers. So there are a couple of ways to do it. Uh, what I can do is I can uh, select this filter and uh, this visual and put the manufacturer, select the manufacturers here in the filter of each visual and then carry on doing that. So for example, if I can go here and uh, choose a manufacturer, let's say, for example, uh, this one. And uh, um, yeah, there are about one, two, three, four, five, six, six manufacturers or five manufacturers. So if I choose that and then click apply, that will be aliquis. And then I have to copy and paste and then choose the next one. And that will give, give the second one. And then you need to change the um, label individually uh, saying that that is the uh, manufacturer, which is not very um, efficient way of doing it. Uh, so uh, what what um, the functionality that we have here is something called small multiples. So if I click here and if I go down, uh, if I go down this way, there is something called small multiples. If I add the manufacturers in here, see the magic that happens. Manufacturer. So if I add there, you can add add even as a legend, but that doesn't work. So see here, if when you uh, by default, if you tick it, uh, it comes and add, adds itself as a legend, and you can't understand uh, you can't really uh, okay there are only because i have selected the man the um see now if if you uh, add 
the manufacturers in the legend it is colorful but you can't really um, get the point that you are trying to understand in a uh, in a meaningful way so that's why i don't prefer that in when to add in the legend so if we go and take the manufacturer and add that to small multiples see then it gives you small small charts and the beauty of this is the title comes um, by itself and there are subtitles for each of these sub charts so this is alinius and this is um, cirrus and th the different manufacturers are in different gr in the in the form of a two um, two column and three row grid here so uh, what you can do is um, you can also there are a lot of uh, formatting options so to format this is the new power bi desktop that i have downloaded <coughs> where the format button is there so click on that and then there are two tabs here you can um, modify the axis by uh, x axis if you want to change the um, type to conti from continuous to categorical but i am not going to change that and um, yeah you can you can uh, you can change the scale type also to, from linear to log uh, these are all the x axis changes that you can do you can change the font size so i can if i change the font size in the x axis values so this 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 axis font size is changing um, and also you can give a separate uh, title on the x axis at the moment it is auto okay so then um, here, if you look at the Y axis, there are similar um, formatting options where you can format the range minimum and maximum. You can choose the minimum and maximum of the range. And also you can format the values uh, at the moment. I, I'm just going to keep it like that. And also you can give a separate title. At the moment it is revenue. Okay, so now, uh, if we look at the small multiple title uh, at the moment it is auto which is the uh, which is the manufacturer um, manufacturer title now here the main thing that i want to point out today is um, uh, small multiple grid in in this you can do you can customize your layout by default this layout has come where there are two columns and three rows you can change that to let's say two rows so yeah if you say four rows there are because there are no rows it will come extra so there are two rows and i can say three columns so that you can change the layout customize the layout using the small multiple grid and also you can if you want you can have grid lines at the moment there are horizontal dotted grid lines you can change the style uh, solid grid lines and also dashed grid lines at the moment it is dotted and also you can change the color of the grid lines and also width of the grid lines uh, that is the horizontal and if you want you can have a vertical you can change the vertical grid lines as well both of them are dotted at this stage and also gray, gray in color. You can do the labels as well, data labels. So you get the you get the idea, right? So you can um, show whether you can see whether the pattern is the same and also to the same extent. So that's about um, and also there is general here. You can have the properties, the normal properties. You, there is there are effects as well where you can add shadows and backgrounds and stuff. Now, the what I want to show you the next one is um, is uh, how to add images to a chart. Usually, um, images are added. Uh, if I if I go here, I have a different set of uh, data here. I have something called reaction type for for a Facebook page. I have some data for a Facebook page where there are um, the where the likes are um, counted and the smiles, all the all the Facebook reactions, the like, 
smile, love, um, wow, and sad and angry. Uh, the images that we want to add are something like icons. So that means you need to choose uh, choose images that are meaningful to this particular uh, re, uh, to this particular chart. Um, we we can't add um, images to uh, willy nilly images to everything. So um, for for this, I just want to show the data before I before I show how we can add the. Uh, reactions uh, add the add the images so if i show so if i go here i have one table which has the reaction type and the number of and the count by each of the uh, by each reaction type and there is another table where i have a reaction type so that we can link this table to that table to the fb reactions table and i have something called reaction code which is nothing but a unicode so this one this column is a unicode number of the unicare character of smile and also like so these are the unique unicode numbers so i store them as numbers and uh, and when you uh, and then I, I created a custom column based on this Unicode uh, value, which is a Unicare function. Unicare function uses the Unicode value and generates a Unicode, Unicare character. So Unicode character. So the function that I have used here is Unicare. And then within that Unicare function, the argument that uh, the unicare function takes is a unicode value so for smile the value is 128578 and uh, for uh, like it is 128077 so these are all the uh, all the things that i found on the internet so i i searched for unicode value for smile and then took the number and then copied it there so that's how i got these numbers so once we have these characters, these uh, reaction icons, what we can do is um, go into into this one, into the chart, into into the chart. And at the moment, I have access as reaction type. I will just remove that reaction type and then add the reaction icon. So I'm just going to reaction type and then just going to add the reaction icon see now you have the images here 